Let's find the adjoint of this 3x3 three three matrix and then use that to find its inverse. To find the adjoint of the matrix, we should begin by recalling the definition of adjoint. Here that definition is. The adjoint is the transpose of the matrix of cofactors. So we must begin by finding all cofactors of the matrix A and then putting those all in a matrix. As a quick recap on cofactors, to find the cofactor of the first entry, we must eliminate that entry's row and column, and then take the determinant of the remaining submatrix. So the cofactor for the entry in row 1, column 1 is going to be the determinant of this matrix with the entries 1, negative 1, 2, 2. The only other thing we must consider for the cofactor is the sum of the row and column position of the entry. In this case, that sum is 1 plus 1, which is an even number. Hence, we don't have to do anything more. But if, for example, we were computing the cofactor in row 2 and column 1, we would eliminate this row and this column and compute the determinant of that submatrix. And then we would also note that 2 plus 1 is 3, which is an odd number. And so we would have to multiply the determinant by a factor of negative 1. Here is our matrix of cofactors. You can see our first cofactor there, and notice how the determinants alternate between having a negative in front and not having a negative in front. Just for one more example, this is the cofactor of row 2, column 3. So we would eliminate row 2 and column 3 and take the determinant of that submatrix. And then we would also note that row 2 plus column 3, uh, that's 2 plus 3, that's 5. That's odd, and so that's why there is a negative in front of that determinant. It's straightforward now to compute all nine determinants to find the matrix of cofactors. Doing the computations, you can verify that we arrive at this matrix. Just for example, this entry here is 1 times negative 1 minus 3 times 0 times negative 1, so that is positive 1. That's the matrix of cofactors. All we have to do to find the adjoint, then, is to take the transpose of that matrix, and that gets us here. The adjoint of matrix A is the transpose of this matrix of cofactors. You can see how the rows in the matrix of cofactors become the columns in the adjoint. And this is the computation to find the inverse of the matrix using the adjoint. It's straightforward to find the determinant using a cofactor expansion. In this case, the determinant is negative 6. And so the computation ends up producing this as the inverse matrix.